Jerry of the circus. Jerry of the circus. Oh, dear, I, I do wish we didn't have to wait. The nurse said they're changing his bandages. I suppose we did get here too early this morning. But honestly, Jerry, I didn't sleep a wink last night. I'm afraid I didn't sleep very well either, Patsy. I kept hearing those guns and shouts, and when I finally did doze off, I'd either see glaring eyes or, or big shapeless things would jump at me from the dark, and I'd wake up and not dare to go to sleep again. Oh, how awful, Patsy. Oh, thank heavens Jason slept. You, you did say the nurse said he had a good night, didn't you? Yeah, she said he's really fine this morning. You know, the time he got hurt several years ago, the nurses and doctors said they never saw anyone mend as quickly as he did. Dr. Bishop, Dr. Bishop is going to the front office, please. Uh, say, Patsy. Yes? Why, look. What's the matter, Jerry? You, you've lost that bracelet. The one that oh, you, you got from Boris. Oh, you mean the one that belonged to the Rusoff family? Yeah, that fancy one Boris gave you. I, I didn't lose it, Jerry. You see, well, after last night, I... Well, I just couldn't wear it anymore, so I gave it back to Boris, and... Gee, I'm glad. <laughs> You're funny. What difference could it possibly make to you? Oh, no, I don't mean... Well, after all, there's Jason, and... <laughs> hey, I'll bet Boris was sure mad when he gave it back to him. Oh, I'm afraid he was hurt. Yeah? <laughs> It'll do him good. Why, Jerry, I never heard you talk like that about anyone before. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. He's not nice to other people, and you're too good for him. No, sir, he's gotten just what he deserves. <laughs> well, I, I guess we'd better change the subject. Gee, it must be about time for them to let us see Jason. I hope so. Oh, oh there's the nurse. Can we see Mr. Jason now? Thanks. Gee, uh, is he going to be all right? <laughs> you don't need to worry about Mr. Jason. He's a marvelous patient. I was on last night when they brought him in. You were? Mm-hmm. I've never seen anyone with as much nerve and courage as that man. Not a peep out of him all the time they dress those wounds. Oh, he's brave, all right. I'll say. Oh, here we are. Just a minute now. Come in. Mr. Jason, I have a couple of visitors here, if you'd like to see them. Sure. Come on in. Who's out there? Hello, Jason. Jerry. Hello, Jason. And Patsy. Now, if this isn't a grand surprise. Gee, nurse, I can't think of anything that would have pleased me more. <laughs> Gee whiz, they, they got you covered up. I can hardly see your face. Maybe it's just as well. I'll leave you for a while, then. Be careful, though, not to excite the patient. <laughs> Imagine. As if I wouldn't be excited just seeing you. Oh, Patsy, what's wrong? Haven't heard a word out of you. I... I hardly know what to say. Oh, Jason, you're sure you're going to be all right? You bet I am. Fit as a fiddle. And double quick time, too. Say, your arms are all covered, too. Gee, are you going to be able to work, Jason? Well, they're just scratched a little. Listen, panthers don't scratch just a little. Well, let's not talk about me. What about you? I tried to find out what they're going to do with Streak this morning, but no one seemed to know. Mr. I think Mr. Randall has decided definitely about that. Yeah? Streak's cage was all boarded up when I went by there. Kind of wondered what was in the wind. Well, Mr. Randall was here early this morning. Yeah, I knew that. We talked it all over. From what happened last night, there's no doubt but that Streak's gone bad. Oh, I'm sorry, Jason. Jumping Jupiter, that's fierce. Does that mean they'll have to shoot him? They usually do just that. 
streak such a valuable specimen, they decided to put him in a specially constructed cage and sell him to one of the zoos. Oh, but, but Jason, is that safe? Oh, yes, it's safe enough. You see, when the attendants know what they have to deal with, they can protect themselves. Oh. When an animal's supposed to be all right and suddenly goes bad, that there's real danger. Will people visiting the zoo be allowed to see him? Sure. He'll probably be one of the zoo's biggest attractions. Black panthers are mighty scarce. Poor Streak. He'll sure miss the freedom he had with the circus. Yes, but he's lucky to be allowed to live after what happened last night. It's a wonder one of those guards didn't kill him. They would have if we'd been alone in the cage. Well, seems to me they should have shot him anyhow. If they'd done it in time, you wouldn't have been hurt. You forget that steel was filled with lions and tigers. Well, what difference does that make? A lot. It's always more dangerous working with a steel full of mixed cats like that. No, I'll say. Oh. You see, Patsy, if the guards had shot down the panther while I was still in there, the other animals would probably have all piled on the two of them. Oh, Jason, don't it. That's awful. Say, it's your lucky those guards know their business, isn't it? It's necessary. Man is a fool to go into a steel without having trained men around to handle every emergency. Nothing courageous about taking unnecessary risks. Hmm, if you ask me, just doing the kind of work you do takes about the most nerve of anything I know. You're forgetting Patsy. She goes way up to the top of the tent and flies out into the air half the time with no nets below her. Don't you think that takes courage? Yeah, I guess it does. You bet. Nothing between her and death. I guess I was talking without thinking. I'm like Jason, though, Jerry. I see that those trapezes are checked every day. We've got to have nerve in our business, but we can't depend on it entirely. You've got to use your brains, too, huh? No, I'll say. Say, Jason, will you be able to work again this season? What? <laughs> Jerry Dugan, what are you talking about? You don't think I'm staying in this hospital? No, no, of course not, only I meant... Well, will you be able to work the cats before we go into winter quarters? <laughs> can you beat that kid, Patsy? Listen, Jerry, I'm leaving here tomorrow night with a show. Oh, Jason... That's too soon. Indeed, it's not. I'm opening in Rossville the following day. Does Mr. Randall know that? Most certainly does. I told him this morning. You don't think I'd let a couple of scratches keep me from working, do you? But, Jason, you've got to take care of yourself but and... What about your bandages? I'll manage. I'll wear a long sleeve shirt that'll cover my arms. But you can't go into the steel with your face all bandaged up like that. I won't. I may have to wear a cap or a turban on my head for a few days, but that's nothing. Well, there's no use talking him out of it, Jerry. Once Jason makes his mind up about something, you might as well talk to a blank wall as to try to convince him he's wrong. Well, folks, I think my patient has had enough excitement for today. Oh, gee, do we have to go? We've only just started talking. <laughs> <laughs> you may have gotten started, but I've hardly had a chance at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I do talk an awful lot. <laughs> Can't they stay a while, nurse? No, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Jason, but these are doctor's orders. Well, I guess he ought to know. Goodbye, Jason. You don't know how happy I am that you're as well as you are. Say, Jason, did you notice Patsy's not wearing that bracelet anymore? Jerry. Well, I think Jason ought to know. Really, Patsy? <laughs> Jerry's right, Jason. <laughs> That's the best news I've had in a long time. Listen, I'll be out of here so fast. Oh, <laughs> oh no, you won't. Now, just lie down and be quiet. I'm afraid you two will have to leave now. Goodbye, Jason. Goodbye, Patsy. Listen here, Jerry. You take good care of Patsy now till I get back. You bet I will. Goodbye, Jason, and do what the doctor says. Where have you been all day, Jerry? Oh, hello there, Uncle Dan. Hey, where'd you get that nifty suit? Hmm, I wondered if you'd notice it. Notice it? <laughs> Uh, gee, I can hardly see you for the suit. Oh, it's a nice suit, isn't it, Jerry? Uh, I'll tell the world. Well, what's the matter? Don't you, uh... Well, don't tell me that you've lost that curiosity of yours. Uh, aren't you going to ask me where I got it? Oh, I don't ask you. I can guess. Is that so? Well, where? Well, I'll bet Mr. Randall bought it for you. So you remember that wager we had? Sure I do. Well, <laughs> you sure got a swell suit, Uncle Dan. Yep, I'm all dressed up, and I'm going to go over and show off in front of Jason. Good for you. Uh, we saw him this morning. We? Who's we? Uh, Patsy and... Oh, gee, I, I've got to go get dressed. See you later, Uncle Dan. <laughs> okay. Knock him dead, Jerry. Oh, hello there, Olga. Haven't seen you in a long time. It is Jerry's uncle, yes? That's right. I still don't come out here during the show, but uh, Boris is just coming off now, and he asked me to bring him this letter. Well, here he comes now. Well, I'm glad to have seen you, Olga. I uh, have a call to make, so I'll have to run along, too. Goodbye, Mr. Dugan. What are you talking to Danny Dogan about, Olga? Nothing, Boris. Why? He just happened to be here. I don't like him. He's a smart man, yes. But sometimes it's just as well not to have smart men around. That is silly talk. 
Where would the roost of be if we weren't for your cleverness? Yes, well, today I don't feel so clever. No drat that accident Jason had last night. What difference does it make to you? No the difference in the world. Are you forgetting Patsy? No, but uh, I thought she was eating out of your hand. Yes, so did I, till that blasted panther tore into Jason. What difference could that possibly make? You're a woman. You ought to know. Oh, she's worried about the sick one, eh? Yeah, so much that she makes me give back the brace. No, that is bad. Uh, bad. Now, from the way she talked last night, we might as well kiss that little fortune of hers goodbye. Oh, no, Boris. Perhaps she's just emotional now about Jason because of the narrow escape. But when he is safe and well, she will come back to you. Hmm. From what I've seen of that little woman, she knows her own mind and has plenty of spunk. Boris, if we should lose that money now, we... We have already lost it, oh, my dear Olga. After all the time we have wasted on I her? I am not one to be kept dangling. I have already forgotten it. I have other plans. What? Never you mind, Olga. I think next time I will do better to work out things by myself. The last two times I have tried to get help from you, our plans have turned out badly. Now I work alone. Oh, I forgot, Boris. Here is that letter you were asking for. Ah, so it has gone. Why didn't you give it to me right away? I meant to, Boris, but we were talking. Ah, but always talking. It is time we do something. Ah, good. So he has done what I told him. Uh, that is good. What is it, Boris? Something important? You bet it's important. Well, what is it? You want to know, huh? Just like a woman. Well, I thought per I might help, perhaps. Yes, uh, from the experience I've had, I think next time I will not ask for help. No. From now on, Boris is a... Lone Eagle. But, Boris... Now, be quiet. Now, uh, say nothing of this letter to anyone. I think I'm beginning to see a way to lay my hands on a circus. Yes, sir. I think it can be done. Now, go on, Olga. Get out of here. All right, Boris, if you feel that way. Oh, Jerry, uh, good morning. I, I mean, good afternoon. Hello, Boris. Uh, I hear you visited our friend Jason this morning. Yes, we. I did. Uh, he is better, I hope. Why, yes, of course. He's doing swell. Uh, I'm very glad to hear that, uh, Perhaps I'd uh, better see him myself. He's leaving with the show tomorrow night. Uh, then he's indeed in good shape, and that is fine. Ah, Mademoiselle Patsy. Hello, Boris. Uh, you look beautiful as ever today. <laughs> Thank you, Boris. I was just asking about our friend Jason. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I have an errand. Uh, I must go. Uh, goodbye, my friend. Good goodbye. Boris. Well, can you beat that? There, I told you he was nice, Jerry. Yeah? Hmm. Seems to me there's something strange about all this. <laughs> Oh, Jerry, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Now, don't tell me you're back at being a detective again. 